Starting the introduction, whenever you are curious, you should ask questions so that we need to be discussed. What questions should you ask? You should ask what, when, why, how, where, and who. In your textbook of part, it has been said that I give six honest minds of me. So six points of man, they thought in the call and their names are what, when, why, how, where, when you are going to ask questions, then only you will be able to find the answers for those questions and that might be able to so, Ever since the beginning of this universe, mankind has been struggled constantly either directly or indirectly to this disease pattern has also changed. Several viruses are newly introduced. Several diseases are newly introduced. Be it related to your uh, occupation, be it related to your habits, lifestyle. So, any patterns of disease I can also observe. The word epidemiology is derived from the Greek word that is epi means upon, the ten means people, and the logos means science or study. So the studies which are conducted upon the people is called as epidemiology. In short, this is not the definition, and just giving you the meaning of this particular word. It is derived from a Greek word, epidemic, means support, that means people, and progress means. Same in the flag, going the it, N means in, that demos means people, and same is for a pandemic. Pandemics covering the entire population. That is AP, that is among the people, and as I was saying, within the people, and the pandemics, and the economy. One of the very significant things I have heard this story of pandemic is the following. So it has been so bad the body and the garden of the So it has been stated that God forbidden Adam and Eve to eat a particular food, but out of curiosity they had it. So there was there was a serpent who said that to just have that food and as uh, the of the God, so you have that tool. But they had it out of the dealers. The moral of the story is man is always curious about these things, and that curiosity always leads to the research. So that is the moral of the story. Coming to the hypocrites, the hypocrites were considered as the first men in the Netherlands. They have also given a book on the fever. They were the one who associated the environment with that of the disease. And they stated that no disease is sent by the evils or demons, but based the result of natural causes. And earlier it has uh, I think that the disease are caused by some kind of evil powers or uh, demons. But the hypocrites were the first ones who associated the disease with the master. This. Coming to the next study is the first ever clinical trial which was conducted by, that is, by Thomas Chilin. So he is recognized as Thomas in convincing medicine. And he emphasized mainly on the keeping, record keeping. Of the patients. Now coming to the James Link, so he conducted a first ever preventive crime. He was a physician in the Scottish Navy. So the first ever crime was conducted by the James Link. So 
polishing there were almost well uh, sellers on which we conducted this uh, particular trial so while in cp observed that many of the sellers they suffered from the desirable bleeding and the cause was unknown so almost everyone suffered from this particular type of problem uh, we decided to look up the cause we uh, what we observed is the diet differs for the people who are living on the land and for the people who see for the normal and so at that time we divided the vegetables in six groups for the first group we divided the corn of china for the second we observed the control for the third group the vinegar for the fourth group the sea water for the fifth group the corn and beans for the sixth group the barley water so what he observed is the people who are on orange and lemons are cured very fastly from the problem and let us for some few discoveries they found that the patient was called and observed and the efficient vitamin was going to See, the first ever trial was conducted. Coming to the next person that we get was general medical manager of the medical journals. He was a his physician and scientist to discover vaccine for the smallpox. So this was the world's first vaccine, and it has been said that he saved over millions of lives on this planet. But the experiment which was conducted by him was not considered as a difficult as the weapon for the animal trials or he never conducted any kind of animal trials, even he didn't bother to obtain the consent from the participants. So this was actually experiment but to save many of the lives so what is that to be that so we conducted we observed that from one of the movements daughter of movement Sarah Nims she once said that I had a box and I can't have a small box so we observed that the people who are suffering from the box the mother or mother was in a small box. They will never have a small box. So out of this observation, we inoculated the scrap first from the blisters to the James Tip. If an idea old boy who was the son of James Gardner. So after that, we inoculated the suffered from the fever as the reaction to the procedure and after two days the report from that fever and then the ever generally introduced small box pustules into the reaction to the and then we observed that we uh, developed any kind of symptoms or any kind of signs so we came to the conclusion and if this small box has to be inoculated into the person, then the, their body will develop the conditions. Small box. So, the paper was published by the journal and it was in seven days. And this is the picture of the version of the tips. Next, finally, the engine for the government for a partner of the government is the Johnson. 
conducted a surgery on the cholera and he gave the origin of the disease. He uh, was the one of the person that the cholera spread from the food and the water. They reported for that it was spreading uh, because of the pollution or the least air pollution but in the fact that Coming from the Dawson uh, discovery in um, around 1815, there was an epidemic of cholera which was spread over the world. So, the, one of the lawyers that is charged he has been given the responsibility to look after the origin of the spread. And during that period, the registered detention was took place in the many England. So, the charity suggested that due to that industrial evolution, because of the pollution and all those things, the cholera epidemic is there in the union. So that was his conclusion. But John Snow studied the spot maps of all different different houses in which the species of cholera was there. And what he discovered is it shows a particular pattern from the origins of the Thames River. So many of the pieces were found at the downstream of the Thames River. So we suspected that the water is caused for the water. And the from September 1960, the sunlight is also the water. So at that time, the responsibility was given to John Snow to keep up to this present outbreak of the cholera. And he went through to go and he formulated a spot, a spot map of that particular area. And they noted all the dates with the dot and the book. And you were to see that there are seven meters covered at the process of area and the water supply was marked at the process. There was a pump at the broad street, and because of that pump, that was the things of the water supply. And because of this particular thing, there were so many sufferers for the problem. And the adjacent area that is proven. Street area. Here they have a water supply from different sources. It's not contaminated. So, this is how we can give it that. The person, the water point which are in the broad street area is contaminated and we put it on the broad street area. This particular fact was observed by the people who followed the pattern of the spread of the diaper, the mill, and the people who were in the diaper disease. So, the person died because of the diaper, and because of all these experiments, which the past, there was a new 
all the public health people there yeah. and all the film movies and the things study on the people which we need to be discussed so this led to the foundation of the program so Benchmore and Sadiq were the first to lecture on the topic of the film movie and the first post became the first post in 1926. What are the definitions of the film movie? Part 5 in 1873 describes epidemiology as an epidemiology as the branch of medical science which deals with the treatment of epidemics. Magnum and Pulp in 1960 defined it as the study of disease frequencies in man, but those these definitions were considered as insufficient and the most accurate definition was given by Ramon Vlad in 1928. He described epidemiology as he defined epidemiology as is the study of the distribution and determinants of health related status or events in specified population and the application of this study to control the health This definition the disease is distributed differently among the area that has the time and this distribution. So you have to study that particular thing. And there are certain factors which are determining the disease, or which are determining the work. So in epidemiology, you need to study that particular distribution of determinants. Health worker status so, of events which are occurring in particular population. That is the meaning of the first sentence. And after studying that particular uh, distribution and determinants, you need to apply those things to further control that particular health population. This is the meaning of the definition of the So, what are the components of the the first one is species species, the second one is distribution of species, and the third one is determination of species. So these all the components are there in the definition of the epidemiology itself. So coming to the disease frequency. So disease frequency can be measured physically by a rate and ratio, so you can also measure it in the proportion. So I have we the example of the presentation just and it will help you to facilitate the comparison in between the groups. So why this body group is having what we see that I'm going to the missing. So you might be able to facilitate the comparison in between the two groups with their practices frequency. Distribution of the basin. So, as you might be aware, that basin is class in the pattern. There are certain patterns. Patterns. So, two of the diseases can be seen more prominently in particular area. And in other area, the people might be immune for that particular disease. So, the diseases have certain pattern, and it is distributed by the time, place, and culture. Tuberculosis disease. So, you might be able to observe that there are many of the continent to, in which uh, there is a very least spread of the uh, very less deaths because of the tuberculosis as compared to the others. We are going to have the yellow, green, red. Determinants of this issue we might have got things triangle since uh, day one of your course. So we are present course from Kumar. So then this is which uh, 
have this for the factors. That is reason for starting your mind. Any absence of any one of the factor will not lead to the disease. So, an agent, there are certain causes, certain variables, infertility, adequate qualities, etc. All the community of the person that they make it susceptible to information status and your style. So these all things are very really exposed and coming to the environment. So you will have a sanitations on how you hold on the social first and then with your health care as well as so coming to the next part that is the aims of the epidemiology. So what are the aims of the the first thing is to describe the magnitude and distribution of the disease. That we should describe the origins of the disease and the discovery of the houses and the area of the world that we describe the magnitude and the distribution of the disease for the magnitude population. Then the next is to cover it better as we say for planning the services and setting priorities and also the the next comes is to identify the risk factors or like epidemiological agents for particular disease. So these are the so one of the ultimate aim at the beginning is to eliminate or to reduce the health problem or expectations and promote the health and well-being of society as well. Objectives of the objectives are the things uh, aim are particular and objectives are the things which we may be people to so objectives are to collect and analyze all the data where agent post and information for the random occurrence description disease then to go into in order to fill the gaps for having access and show at the different stages where the disease is limited by the way. So you might be aware that so that was also if this is a sound of the one such as increasing cholesterol level, obesity, it may be to do with the this is the main issue for the forms of So, this is the post of the new hospital. So, there are multiple factors. So, the main post of the new hospital is the missing factors. So, health administrators, which I'm going to go to. So, what is the difference between epidemiology and epidemiology? So, the very first difference is in epidemiology, the unit of study is a population. Right? Study the particular population rather than the individual. Medicine, uh, only a person is coming to the six person. You are So in the community, you need to deal with the data, you need to identify the situation, full of transmission, that the person you need to determine the future trends and control measures. But in medicine, you just need to open the basis of the patient, you need to reach for the final diagnosis, you need to reach for the prognosis and this is then the epidemiology is concerned with the all patients, those who are sick and those who are healthy for the medicine. They are often big sick people. So the epidemiology is the only 
This can be the hypothesis by 
was uh, derived by your observation. And after formulation of this hypothesis, we may compare the population and the population corresponding to your factors. And second one, we are uh, working on some other sort of factors or in the general population also. Two, compare the things to be done in the further concrete evidence whether those people really have higher incidences of kills for working in factors or is it same to be part of the general population. So for that particular thing to be and after So in that, you can provide certain kind of uh, interventions or you can situation. You may decide to uh, expose your issue or, or you may reduce their time. So you can do multiple variations um, to intervene that particular situation. And according to that, you derive a particular conclusion. You are conducting actual experiment. So that thing is called as the experimental phenomenon. So remember there are many types of technology that is your observational studies and the experimental studies. The observational is further divided into the two types that is your descriptive and analytical. So coming to the epidemiological approach, so whenever you are going to study the particular situation, then you need to remember these two things that the first one is the asking questions. So you, you need to ask about the question that is what is the event, what is its magnitude, where did it happen, when did it happen, who are affected, and why In the simplest example, the use of the current pandemic. So what is the event? The event is the outbreak of the corona virus. Then what is its magnitude? Earlier it was about hundred thousand people afterwards. The disease is declared as the pandemic. Where did it happen? So it happened in the city of Wuhan. Then when did it happen? In the month of December. Then who are affected? So almost entire immune population is affected. Uh, and, and mostly, if we uh, look at the pattern of this particular disease, then people who are already sufferers with some kind of uh, systemic diseases, so those people are affected more uh, rather than people of the younger age groups. So, this is one of the observations there. Right? And why did it happen? So, Currently, we are uh, not sure of the issues, but we have made the speculations that this happened because you know, there is a lot of attacks, the world is being attacked, and everything. So, next to the next thing is related to different actions. What can be done? So, you know, people are new to this government is trying to address each and every thing on the stand and say that we do not uh, have any kind of lockdown. So India started lockdown before the spread of the disease. A few of the countries started the lockdown when the disease was spreading. So at that time. So what can we do? So the different different countries are different in different ways. So the next thing is what can be done to prevent it? Further, we are going to have a better idea of trying to build the vaccine. So, what action should be taken by community health services, office sectors, where and whom services? 
Integrity can be uh, done in such as exception as six or other variables. And before the comparison, we will need to do the matching. That means if you are comparing the analysis, the person and their age and their sex that is fair for where to come from. Now the next thing is the evaluation methods which we are providing in the field of observation studies and experimental studies that will be done. And the observation studies that I have in the past that will be studies. So we need to read the studies in the next class so I will be doing the respective studies uh, in the next class after that after that the studies ask the question if you are so so in the next study can we ask you to come to the United Nations So we need to bring in these studies uh, in the 